It's therefore a genuine pleasure for me to welcome you all here to IMO headquarters this evening for the first ever International Seafarer Welfare Awards. The award winners come, come from all over the world, from uh, Asia, from Europe, um, and we're really excited that uh, we had such a wide range of, of entries to, to the awards. The work for seafarers is important because seafarers uh, live quite hard, hard lives. They're away from their families for long times. They're often at sea for uh, even up to a year. They, sometimes they don't even get ashore for months. And also seafarers do suffer from stress. They're also susceptible to uh, other diseases and like HIV and malaria. So, so the health side it, is very important. There's roughly 1.2 million seafarers around the world, a, a, a lot of them from the developing world, there's a lot from India and the Philippines. The actual resources for 1.2 million seafarers isn't a lot, yeah. uh, and there, there are many ports that don't have seafarer centres or, or a welfare worker or ship visitor. So one of, one of our roles is to encourage the establishment of welfare facilities in the ports to train up welfare, uh, ship welfare visitors uh, and to ensure that the seafarers do, do come across um, either seafarer centres or welfare workers uh, when they're in port. Uh, we feel that this is recognition to all our efforts for, the, for improving the welfare of our seamen. First of all, what we did for a couple of years now, we provide them with uh, internet connection, email, which is really free for them, and this at least gives them the contact to their families, friends, whatever, which I think is a great thing to have done. I mean, shipping for 36 years now, it changed completely. It's much more demanding, hectic, a lot of problems, a lot of issues that the people really undergo on a daily basis on ships. My name is Joran Christensen, and I come from Rosenhill Seaman Center in Gothenburg, Sweden. We win over the big, big harbors, so I'm very glad. It's quite a shock to receive a nomination, but um, for the last 18 years I've worked for the Sailors Society, looking after the port chaplains around the world. The thing that comes immediately to mind is Philom Guerrier, who was a Haitian seafarer, and he was on a ship down in Paul Harbour, and he lost both his legs in, a, in an accident where the rope slipped, and it severed both his legs. And the Society was um, involved for quite some months with his rehabilitation and we were able to raise enough funds to, to buy him artificial limbs before he went back home. They may need a dentist or a doctor, and that's where our chaplains will step in, and, and also they'll, they'll detect whether all is, all is well on board, and if not, um, raise the right alarms without getting, um, taking sides in any way. Well, for us, is, uh, we are really very proud to be nominated to, to this award. Because, well, we, we know that we are doing some things or we are doing things for the seafarers. If you look at the background and history, Singapore is the one of the, or the almost the most busiest port in the world. And we have more than 130,000 vessels calling annually in the port of Singapore. And you have a lot of seafarers coming down there. That's, that's all the reward I want, really, is just to think that I've made a slight difference to some seafarers' lives.